Hey, y'all, I just got done making this video y'all finna watch, and I don't know, bro. I don't even wanna, like, drop this video, cause, like, that, that, like, exposing shit. Like, I'm not even exposing her, but, like, that, like, just continuously talking about her motherfucking shit and, like, like, exposing shit. Like, I don't fuck with that shit. Like, but it's like, bro, y'all niggas keep asking, like, y'all niggas keep asking, bro. And I'm not the type to just be making videos about motherfuckers in. Because, you know, like, you don't you, you know, never know what a motherfucker's going through. Like, you know, that shit could be, like, damn near considered bullying. Low key. But it's like, bro, some shit just got to be addressed, man. I don't know. If y'all, I'm going to say this video in my, in my fucking unlisted or whatever on YouTube, right? If y'all ever see this video, that it just is what it is, man. It just is what it is. I ain't want to make this video. Like, I promise to die, y'all. I did not want to make this video, bro. Like, I could have been made this video fucking, fucking, bro, January, bro. It is March, bro. I did not want to make this video, bro. Like, I'm just not even that type to be like, bro, I ain't never been the type to be putting out videos and messages. That's why I'm not even, I'm probably not even going to do that in, in this video. I'm probably just going to talk about it, but it's like, bro, the truth must come out somehow, man. Y'all motherfuckers keep asking me about it, like, and it's like, but it's even worse because we didn't came on the internet and we didn't went up together and did all that shit together, bro. But it's like, I ain't trying to bash motherfuckers' image or nothing. It's just like the truth must be up, man. So if y'all see this video, then yeah, y'all see the video. If not, then this shit gonna stay in the mud. But if you do like the video, cause you lucky as fuck if you watching this video, no cap. Man, what's the word, y'all? It's your boy, SGC Vine. Better watch your host, be Mario, no cap, man. And this ain't, this ain't a regular ad vid, man. This is uh, the truth video. Man. Truth. Y'all, y'all always in my comments, y'all always like, where Naya? You going to see Naya? Blah, blah, this, blah, blah, that. Naya this, Naya that, Naya, Naya, Naya. Like, Damn. Damn. God damn, like, y'all keep talking about this girl, like, damn, like, y'all see, we don't be in each other's comments no more, y'all see, we don't follow each other no more, so why y'all asking me stupid ass questions, but, y'all, I'm finna, finna just tell y'all what the fuck happened, get y'all a whole rundown from start to finish, alright, so boom, I don't even, bruh, I was contemplating on making this video, but, but, it's like, shit, we already posted shit all over the internet. Like, we already did what we did on the internet, made our videos or whatever. So, it's like, y'all already seen everything. And if we just stop talking and don't give y'all an explanation, y'all, that shit weird. Like, why the fuck these niggas just randomly stop talking out of nowhere and y'all don't know what the fuck happened? Like, that shit just weird. So, boom, I'm going to just get out of rundown from start to finish. I ain't even want to make this video. I ain't here to bash nobody, no nothing. Like, it ain't no bad blood. It, it's just, it is what it is. Like, what happened, happened. We don't talk no more. It is what it is. She blocked me. Like, it is what it is. So, boom. From start to finish. So, boom. Like, started in... Y'all think this shit started in November. No, like, y'all think this shit started in, like, October when me and her were making videos and shit, right? But in reality, this shit started in May, April. Like, I started talking to Naya in May, April, right? So, boom, y'all. She talking about... When I first started talking to her, I met her through... I met her through TikTok, but I was doing rates, bro. She she was she joined the live. She was like, rate me. I rated her. I'm like, damn. She was like, Anne Marie, mind y'all. Y'all know I got a fat ass crush on Anne Marie. So why the fuck like like she just looked good. So I'm like, whatever, like cool. Like I'm gonna text her after this, like on some shit. Like I was on the live, like yeah, I'm texting her after this, I'm, I'm bro. So after the live, I text her, bro. She ain't text me back for like two weeks, two three weeks, bro. She ain't text me back for like two three weeks, bro. I like I'm telling y'all truth, like. Like, everything I say in this video is the truth, bro. Like, I'm, even if that shit made me look a damn fool, like, yeah, bro, she left me on deliver for three weeks, bro. Yeah, she did, bro. But, yeah, she left me on deliver for three weeks, bro. And but I was on her live. She went live. I, I was on her live. I was like, you Hollywood as fuck. She was like, what? No, I'm not. So, after the live, she texted me. She was like, bro, I'm not Hollywood, this and that, blah, blah, blah. I was like, yes, you is. You left me on deliver for, like, three weeks. She was like... She was like, I got a little situation going on. I was like, you got a boyfriend or something? She was like, yeah, something like that. Text my number. That should have been a red flag right there. She talking about text my number and you got a boyfriend. So, boom. I text her number. 
we started talking. She said she stopped talking to the nigga for me or whatever, right? We was talking. After that, we started talking. Like, we was on the phone every day for, like, months. Like, we was on the phone every day, bro. Like, that was really my dog. Like, we was really on the phone every day. Like, I was planning to come see her, all type of shit. Like, it was crazy. So, boom, that's when um, fucking October come around, bro. No, it was September. September come around, late September. We get into an argument, and we stopped talking. So then I'm thinking, like, it's actually over. Like, we, we done. So, boom, I start doing me. That's when I got to talking to Jaya. If y'all don't know Jaya, she, I used to do TikTok with her, too. Like, I was talking to her for, like, a cool little month. I ain't gonna fake, like, a cool month. And then, yeah, some bullshit happened. We, we got to arguing, all type of shit. But, boom, we still focused on that. So, boom, that's when, after I stopped, I stopped talking to her, I started talking to Jaya. Fuck, this shit hard to explain, bro. This shit hella hard to explain. So, boom. While I'm talking to Jaya, bro, Sanaya texted me, like, two weeks, two, three weeks after I was talking to Jaya. It was, like, a month in between October, right? And she was like, bro, what's up? Like, I'm I'm coming down there, this and that, blah, blah, blah. And she was just trying to get back cool. I was like, okay, we can be cool in some friendship, blah, 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 whatever, right? In my head, that's what's going on in my head. Mind you, we just started back talking, so she think everything regular, and, like, we just back talking like this. Like, we just good. Like, no, I was already, I'm already doing my own thing now, and I was already, like, you know. But she didn't know that, which is my fault, because I ain't, I ain't let her know that, right? So, boom, she ended up coming down here, and the day she ended up coming down here, I think, I didn't know she was coming down there that day, but I ended up popping out on that day. So, she came down here, she was like, damn. She was like, damn, like, I'm I'm just being a hundred, like, like, I'm just, I'm telling y'all the truth, like, the full truth, nothing but the truth, even if it made me look bad, bro, because I don't need no, the truth for the truth video and this and that, like, no, bro, we're not doing that, bro, I'm finna just tell it all right here, I'm not gonna lie about shit, I swear to God, I'm gonna keep it a hundred on my dear auntie, so boom, that's when, um, yeah, I popped out on that day, I popped out with her on that day, it was a Halloween day, and we was doing Halloween pajamas, this and that, blah, blah, Halloween, it was an event, we was going to the event. Like, I just popped out on that day. It was a good ass day to pop out. So, boom, that's when I popped out. Mind you, we went to the event. The event was, like, the 29th or the 31st. It was on Halloween, I think. And then that's when Naya's there and the girl I'm talking to, Jaya. So, Jaya's working on me, all type of shit. I ain't even see Naya over there sitting in the stands. Mark come up to me. He talking about, hey, that's Naya right there. I'm like, what? He like... She here. I was like, oh, she really came down here? He was like, yeah. So, boom. I went over there, and I was talking to them, and she was like, I'm being, I was being weird, this and that, blah, blah. Like, I wasn't, like, I popped out the day before she got down here. I'm weird as fuck. Mind you, she wasn't fucking with me. Like, we had just started back talking. Like, like she wasn't fucking with me. I'm thinking it's over. I was thinking it was over. That's why, bro. But, boom. After that, bro, um, me and Jaya got into it or whatever, right? And I stopped talking to Jaya, and... I went over to see Naya before she went back out of town, right? I was like, on some cool shit. Like, I just went over to see her or whatever, right? So, boom, that's when, yeah, we was vibing the whole time. She was down here or whatever. I'm like, Naya actually cool in person. Like, I fuck with her. Like, she actually cool. So, boom, I was only only seen her for like two days, two days, three days. We stayed at the Airbnb. So, that's when she went back home to CT, and then I was still down here. And mind you, I stopped talking to Jaya. Like, me and Jaya just stopped talking completely because she said she wanted... She said something about Brooke. She said she going to spit on Brooke, me, SGC. Like, what? You're not going to spit on shit. So, so boom. And she told my sister she, she could die. Like, she said, why well, her look gay? Like, she just was talking crazy out the mouth. So, I had to get rid of Jaya. It was just that. Like, that's the whole reason. Me and Jaya probably would have still been talking, but, like, hell no. Nah, I had to get rid of Jaya. She not going to talk to SGC like that. Hell no. Nah, that's some, that's some lame-ass shit. So, boom. That's when... um. So now I'm going back. I'm back with I'm talking back to Naya because she already telling me like, boom, you need to start back talking to me so we can get serious and snap blah blah. So boom, I'm like, fuck it, we can get this shit another try. Like on some serious shit. Like if we being serious this time, she like, you know I am this and that blah blah. I'm like, okay, cool, whatever, right? So boom, me and Naya start back talking. It's like October, October going good. Somebody called me y'all, but yeah, where was I at, bro? I don't even know where I was at, bro. Okay, that's where I was at. Okay, boom, it's October, man. She was like, hey, uh, like, when I'm coming down there to see her or whatever, I'm like, boom. Like, 
what's up? Like, I'm gonna come down there and see you. Like, what's up? I'm gonna book that. I was actually, I actually booked the plane ticket. I'm like, yeah, like, let's actually do this. Like, I'm gonna actually come down there to CT. I ain't never got on a, mind you, I ain't never got on a flight by myself. So I'm like, bro, bro, if I get on a flight which for you by myself, pay for the damn thing and all, and I ain't never went on a flight, that should let you know that I fuck with you off rip and I'm not coming down there just to be on some whole shit or do no content, right? Because after this, all this shit happened, she talking about I did it for content and did all this shit. Like, bro, I don't have to do shit for content. I don't, I actually did that shit because I genuinely fucked with you and I was actually fucking with you, like on some shit. Like I actually see myself fucking with you. So boom, that's when, yeah, like I booked the flight, bro. I booked the flight. Then before, after I booked the flight, it's like 10 days before we go down there. So boom, smart me. I'm smart as fuck with this with this TikTok shit and this marketing shit. If you know me, then you know I'm smart as fuck with this shit. Like, like whole reason SGC up right now. Like we I'm smart as shit. So boom. Right before I came down there, I'm like, nah. You make this video talking about me. I make this video talking about you. And then we react to it. And I bet you that shit get at least 100 k So boom. She did that. I made my video. She made her video. She reacted to mine. I reacted to her. That's two videos on both of them. So boom, I'm thinking the video is only gonna get a hundred K. It was the um what's that sound twin? It was the um come and hop on this pony. Come and hop on this pony. We really made that shit go viral, me and her. Like, like doing that, doing that little video, we doing them two videos, we made that shit go viral. So boom. That's when um Yeah. After we posted them two videos, the next day, bro, woke up, bro. That shit was probably at like 500k a million like on both our shits like we both going up i, I was she was like dang look at this i'm like yeah like i told you like that shit was going up i, I literally told you like i'm just smart with this shit so boom that's what like this trend the sound was trending good watch time like i'm just smart as fuck so boom we both going up i'm like yeah when we link they gonna be on it like it's like we just hyping them up for the link so boom i'm steady posting this shit every day till i get down there i even post when i'm on the flight Look at this nigga hair, y'all. That shit hard. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? But y'all, so boom, I'm doing TikToks on the on the damn but on the plane, everything. I'm getting the content in. Like I'm I'm trying to make sure we both go up. So boom. So so, so that's when I get down there, bro. We doing our first vid, blah blah blah. We and um her best friend have doing our first vid in the club with my twin. We be vibing. Like that was the first time we meet. Like, you know, we had to do that vid. So boom, it was trending too smart so boom that's when um yeah like bro we doing the whole we doing youtube video we going outside i'm saying like we going on movie dates all type of stuff i'm recording it doing hella content like y'all can see all the content that we did i still got it up on the youtube like you can go back and look at the content so boom that's when bro like a week like i'm only down there i was down there for two weeks bro two weeks bro if it's my first flight Duh, I got to be staying down there for two weeks or something, bro. So, boom, I stayed down there for two weeks, bro. I was getting content in. I was vibing with her. Like, it was just awesome. It would be days I wouldn't even make a video. Like, I'd just be vibing with her. So, boom, that's when um, a week and a half passed, bro. It's like, it's like Tuesday. And I leave on, like, Friday, Saturday, right? So, boom. Mind you, the whole time I was there, it was this nigga calling her, bro. It was her ex, bro. The nigga that she said... She stopped talking to me for it, bro. It was her ex, bro. This is where I should have knew. Because why the fuck? I had to think about this shit. Like, why the fuck? I didn't even notice this shit when I first when I first looked at it. When I first seen that nigga calling her phone and shit. And she was like, oh my God, bro. He keep calling my phone. Like, she acting like she she fucking mad as fuck that she he keep calling her phone. When it's a reason why this nigga keep calling your phone. Like, you got to be entertaining something. Like, this nigga got... He not just going to feel that comfortable to keep blowing up your phone like that. Months later, all of a sudden. Like, come on now. All of a sudden, because he's... Come on now. He seen you with me on the damn FYP. Nigga got mad. And started blowing your damn phone. Up. That's what it was, bro. It's not that... It's not that... Like, what the fuck? You had to be still fucking with the niggas before I got down there. That's why I'm like, bro. After this shit, you gave me so much trust issues, bro. Like, I don't be trusting shit on my soul. Like, female, like, because, but mind you, for that, she was like, I'm loyal, this and that, blah, blah, blah. I'm loyal, this and that, blah, blah. Like, it's like, bro, then some shit like that happened. Your ex calling you, and you just said you stopped talking to this nigga 
fucking six months ago for me. Do that shit make sense? This nigga called it in fucking December, and you said you stopped talking to the nigga in May. Like, come on now. So, boom. The nigga calling her phone, bro. Why are we doing it? Like, she like, come on, let's do this TikTok. She put her phone up and everything. As soon as she put her phone up and we finna do a TikTok, nigga call her. I'm like, bro. She like, oh my God, oh my God. Then she she hung up on the nigga. He called again. This time she answered. Oh my God, stop calling my fucking phone. But the fuck, like, damn, like, blah, blah, blah. Then she hang up on the nigga again. Boom, he calling the phone back. She like, oh my God, never mind. We not finna do no TikToks. Like, this nigga blowing my fucking phone up. I'm like, bro. Why don't you just block the nigga? My, I'm like, why the fuck you just don't block the nigga? But clearly, they had some shit going on, so of course you're not gonna block the nigga. So boom, that's when, um, yeah, I should have knew that was red flag, bro. That was top top number one red flag. So boom, that's when um week and a half go past, and like that shit, the nigga just kept calling the phone, and one day we was sleep, we was sleep, bro. And I woke up in the middle of the nighttime and her phone was like on the side of her, but it was open. So I'm like, let me just go through this phone and see what the fuck this nigga talking about. Like, let me see, like, if it's not just him. Cause she, at this point, she making it seem like it's just him and this nigga crazy as fuck. And he just a crash out. When in reality, it's you. It's you. On my soul, it was you. So boom, I'm going through the phone. Bro, I have all these screenshots and shit right now. It's no need for me to put in the video because I'm not trying to, like, I'm not trying to, like, for real, like, expose the girl. I'm just giving y'all the truth there. Like, it's just what happened. It is what it is. It, you know, she blocked me. It is what it is. Like, it ain't. I don't think we're going to be talking again after this, for real, for real. Because it's like, she already blocked me. So I might as well give y'all the, uh, damn, the truth video. So boom, that's when... Bro, I'm going through her phone. I'm like, bro, what? I'm looking. I'm like, this shit is crazy, bro. I'm like, this shit is crazy. Like, the shit I'm seeing, I am, like, flabbergasted. I'm like, it's like, you. it's different when the niggas is on your body. Like, it's different when the niggas is on your body and you not really trying for it. Like, you like, man, like, you just, like, you flaking the niggas off. But it's like, when you the aggressor, when you the one trying to fuck with him, it's like, dang, like, I really fuck with a, like, a hoe. I'm not calling that girl a hoe, but it's like, it was like, that's just what the, the, the damn, the damn, the damn, what's the name? It was like, the, the damn text was making it seem like, and I was like, bro, I'm like, bro, it ain't no fucking way this girl to aggress you. Like, it's like, I see if the nigga was on you. And you'll slur back on some shit. That, like, that's normal shit. Like, you see that shit on a daily basis with females cheating on niggas. Like, you see that. But when you the aggressor, I ain't never seen no girl be the aggressor like that. No damn text messages. She says some damn... Bro, I, ain't, I can't even... Bro, it's like... It's not... I'm not trying to get on... Bro, it's like, bro, I got to keep some shit out. Because it's like, I'm not even trying to get on here and do that, bro. Like, because I still fuck with her. Like, like that's still my... Like, that's not my dog no more. But it's like... It was still like, I never had no bad intentions. It was never no bad intentions on my side. I still was on some, like, I fuck with you type shit. But, you know, it was never no bad intentions on my side. But it just, it is what it is. Got to do what you got to do, man, you know? So, boom, that's when, that's when um, I'm going through her phone. I'm screenshotting shit. I'm, I'm screen recording shit. I'm like, bro, this girl got me fucked up. And it's, it was, I was even madder because, like, bro, this girl asleep. Right next to me, like she sleep, she sleep, and I'm seeing all this shit. I'm like, bro, you was trying to link with a nigga while I was there in your bed. Like, come on now, like, you know I'm at your house. You trying to link with niggas, bro? Like, that shit was crazy. It was crazy, bro. And it wasn't just one nigga. That's why I was like, that's why I was flabbergasted for real. I'm like, damn, bro. Like, you really out here pimping, bro? Like, if you was gonna pimp. That's why I was like, after that shit happened and I told her, bro, like, I was like, bro, if you're going to pimp, just be a hundred. Like, just let me know so I can know how to move. 
that's why that's why that whole day after I seen that shit, I could not get that shit out of my head. Like it just had to get out somehow, bro. So boom, this is how I get out, bro. This is how I get out. This is how she found out I went through her phone, right? So boom. She had a her sister had a hotel party that that, that same day. Like it was mind you it's the morning, it's two AM in the morning. So boom, she had a her sister had a party, like a hotel party that same day. So boom, we getting ready and shit. I'm being cool, I'm playing cool. In my, in my head, I'm not even fucking with her for real. I'm like, oh, hell no. Like, I can't wait to go back home. Like, I ain't never talking to her again. Oh, bro, bro. So, boom. That's when we get ready. Blah, blah, blah. We go to the hotel. It's like 7 p.m. Just skip the whole day. Like, 7 p.m. Boom. We going to get pajamas and shit. And we go to the hotel. And it's like fucking probably like five boys, four girls. Or whatever, and we just all in there vibing or whatever, right? And she like put on her pajamas or whatever. I'm like, okay, cool, blah blah. I put on my pajamas. We doing TikToks or whatever, and then that's when I go live, right? The the live was asking us questions. It was like fucking 400, 300 people on the live. The live was asking us questions. They like, so you and you and Naya fuck with each other, this and that. Like, do you really fuck with her and this and that, blah blah? In my head, I'm like. Then she asked me. Then she asked me. So now it's like, I got an answer. I'm just skipping past the questions. Now she asked me. She's like, you fuck with me? You want to be my... She said, bro, she used to say this shit all the time, bro. She used to be like, you want to be my bae? I'm like, uh... She like, what? I said, uh, uh, nah. I said, I don't know. She said, what you mean you don't know? I said, I don't know. She said, she did this face. She said, what the fuck? You're weird as fuck. She got up and she started walking towards the door. She started walking towards the door. I said, bro, what you doing all that for? She said, nah, because you're being weird as fuck. And she walked out the door. I'm walking after her with the damn camera. I get off, bro, I get off. No, I don't even get off live, bro. I'm still on live, bro. They like, what's wrong with her? I'm like, bro, I don't know, bro. She, I'm not finna chase her around this whole damn building. I'm like, oh, God, I'm not finna chase her around this whole damn hotel. So, boom, I go back to the room. She downstairs. She texts me off her phone, like, and I get off live. She texts me off her phone. She's like, why you tripping? Like, why you being like that? Like, you don't even be acting like that. Like, what's up? It's like, bro, girls is manipulators. Like, they will really be fucking with multiple niggas and then cry about that one nigga as if they fucking with that one nigga. Like, no, you was fucking with multiple niggas and you over here. Bro, like, she'll do the most about me, but it's like, as if she, she'll do the most about me like I'm her only nigga. But in reality, you fuck with multiple niggas. It's like girls is really like, bro, they is really manipulators, bro. They really make you seem crazy, bro. It's like she make it seem like she all for me. So I'm being loyal. Whole time you, you know, fucking with some other shit. So it's like, bro, it's crazy. Like, I was like, bro, I don't, I don't even care about none of that sympathy shit. Like, hell no, I don't care about none of that crying shit. Like, none of that. So, boom, that's why she texts me. She like, so what's up? Like, what's up with you? Like, you being weird as fuck. I'm like. Bro, cuz I got my reasons. She said, What's your reasons? I said, You know why. You should know why. She said, Why? Like, did you see something in my phone or something? I said, I said, No, I say that something. She was like, If you wanted to see what's in my phone, you could have just said that. Like, I would have gave you, you know, my password, this and that, blah, blah, blah. I was like, You think I ain't go through your phone? I was like, You think I didn't go through your phone? She paused. She paused for like two minutes. Didn't say nothing. She paused. She was like, bro, oh my God, what you seen? I said, I seen everything. Everything. She said, oh my God, it wasn't even like that, Vaughn, Vaughn. Like, like, I was just only doing this shit because you had started talking to this girl and this and that, blah, blah, blah. Like, I thought you wouldn't fuck with me no more. If we start back talking, you talking about you going to be loyal and this and that. And I'm talking about this. I got you a promise ring. All this type of shit. Why the fuck would I not be being loyal this time? If I'm posting you on everything. If I'm posting you on everything. Everything. I'm talking about everything. TikTok, YouTube, Instagram. I'm not hiding. Like, if I'm fucking with you, I'm fucking with you. If I'm posting you on everything. Why the fuck would you think that? Like, shit don't make no sense to me. Girls, some girls don't get posted on shit. They don't get posted on nothing. Nigga, don't post them at all. They won't even... The girls who follow the nigga don't even go, know he got a girl. Like, it's like that bad. But it's like me. 
I post what's mine. Like, I, I fuck with it. So, like, boom, I'm posting you. And you doing this lame ass shit. You over here being a, being whatever. Out here doing your, in your whole stage. That's what I'm going to call it. You and your, I'm not going to say you a hoe. But, like, you was definitely in your whole stage. Like, you can't. It's like, I tell you, stop talking to these niggas. And you can't stop. It's like, bro. And yeah, it's like, bro, you got caught up before, bro. And it's like, I should have been new to shit. Because even her friends said, she, like, they'll make TikToks together. And y'all know how y'all pass the phone to each other. And y'all be like, uh, I'm passing the phone to somebody who blah, blah, this, blah, blah, that. But her friend passed her the phone and said, I'm passing the phone to somebody who can't keep up with all her niggas. I should have knew then. I should have knew then. I should have knew when I seen that ex in that phone after some six months calling your phone back to back like you never stopped talking to the niggas i should have i should have knew when i went through your damn hidden and i seen all them pictures in there with all the uh with the with that nigga from months we were still talking you talked to the nigga from from last year all the way to the time we was talking like it was crazy bro i'm like bro then fourth was her mama said some damn you got to choose she was like, you you need to choose which one you're going to fuck with because at this point you, like, because the nigga was trying to come over there. The nigga that she was talking to on the phone, her ex, or whatever, that was blowing her, up her phone, he going to say some damn, he going to say some damn, uh, what he said, cuz, he going to say some damn, I'm going to come over there, I'm going to beat his ass, then he can have you. Who? But I was going to, I ain't going to lie, I would have killed that man. I ain't going to lie. I ain't gonna lie, I would've killed that man. Everybody, I would've killed that man, and I would've got on the next flight home. I would not have gave a fuck. I'm in a whole different city. You think I'm gonna play with you? I was gonna kill you. My soul. I would've killed you. So, boom. That's when, um... That's when, uh... Yeah, and it's like, bro, I would've fought you, too. Like, it would've been nothing. I would've fought you, too. Because, like, I know big niggas don't got hands. Like, y'all niggas is slow. My soul. Like, I've been fighting big niggas all my life. All y'all niggas is slow. And yeah, y'all just big and slow and lengthy. So I would have fought y'all for sure. But yeah. So boom, that's when um I seen that shit. I said, what the fuck? Like, she got these niggas talking crazy. She bro, she talking to niggas in her phone talking about I don't really fuck with him. This and that blah blah. blah. Like it's just content. It's just content. But like, okay. I ain't even gonna say all that, bro. It's just content. It's just it's just content, whatever, right? So let me get back on track, bro. She takes me at the hotel or whatever. She said, oh my God, Vine, what you want me to do? I'm sorry, like, like, please just give me one more chance. I give you my accounts and everything. I'm like, bro, I don't even want them shits, bro. I'm like, bro, I don't even want them shits. Like, why the fuck would I want them shits? Like, come on now. I know it's some bad shit in there too. Why the fuck would I want that shit? I do not want that shit. So boom, she ended up sending this shit anyways. Um. Yeah, she ended up sending this shit anyways. Eventually, I logged in. I seen it wasn't nothing. So, I was like, I don't know, bro. She was acting hella sweet and shit after that. So, I was like, bro, maybe I give her one more chance. Because, like, motherfuckers talk shit out. Like, it's it's like, okay, boom. She probably did do that shit because she came down there and she seen me with Jaya or whatever. And I popped out and did all that shit. Like, she probably did do all that shit because of that. So I wasn't really trying to like, I thought about it. I sat back, I thought about it. I was like, okay, let me give her one more chance, bro. She do some weird shit, bro. She give me, like, it's just, you know, it's clips. So boom, that's when I'm still mad at fucking her. Cause she, she already knew. She was like, bro, when you go back home, you're going to be weird, bro. Like, like she was crying. She was like, when, when I, when you go back home, you're going to be weird as fuck. I was like, yep. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm supposed to be normal. Like I'm supposed to just be. Acting like this shit are normal. So, boom. I get on my flight, bro. I do my videos. Make it cool and shit. Do my videos. Say goodbye, blah, blah, blah. Hop on the plane and get back home. After I get back home, it's like the shit went downhill from there. Like, after I went back home, we was talking on the phone every day and shit. But it's like it wasn't the same vibe. It's like, bro, she a hang up on me. She a... Then she stopped calling me every night. Like, it's like you could tell she was doing shit. So then I was like, bro, I'm not finna talk to no... Like, long distance is ass, bro. Don't do long distance, bro. I'm, I'm trying to tell you, bro. They gonna cheat regardless, bro. They gonna swear to God they loyal and they gonna cheat regardless, bro. Don't do long distance, bro. That shit is ass, bro. That shit is ass. If y'all hold in a different state, break up with them. I promise. Like, just break up with them. 
Like, break up. Like, you know? Because it's, it's niggas in their face all day. You think that shit not tempting, bro? They gonna be tempting, and they gonna fold every time, bro. Just like she did, bro. So, boom. Yeah. So, I just figured, like, but after I seen that shit on her phone, like, trust issues, uh, trust issues was out the roof. Like, nigga, like, I, I don't believe shit. Like, even if you tell me, like, she like, bro, I'm being loyal this now, blah, blah, I'm like, bro, I don't want to hear none of that shit, bro. How the fuck you being loyal? But we was going to sleep on the phone every day, but you not calling me every day no more. You calling another nigga, probably. Or you at another nigga house. I'm checking your low. That motherfucker not on. How the fuck your low not on and fucking from nine till after? And then I see the shit in the morning. Like, come on now. Like, that shit weird. So, boom, I'm like, bro, at this point, I'm finna give up on this shit. Like, it's, bro, I was only trying so hard, like, to keep the shit together. Because it's like, bro, we was building shit together. Like, bro, if y'all was building, like, a whole damn TikTok, you trying to YouTube with a motherfucker, you trying to go up with a motherfucker, you gonna keep trying to, like, you know, keep trying to fuck with a motherfucker. But it's like, bro, once a motherfucker show you so many times that they don't fuck with you, it's like, bro, it's clear. Like, you clearly don't fuck with me. Like, it is what it is. You don't fuck with me how I fuck with you. That's all it is. So, boom. That's why I was, I was I was like, at this point, if anything happens, if we stop talking, it just is what it is, bro. It just is what it is, bro. Life move on. God damn me. You'll find, I could find another fish. And, I could find another fish. I could, I could make a, I could boost them up, another fish up, you know. Make a motherfucking influencer, you know. And yeah, like I could do I could do it again. So I was like, okay, well at this point I had to I I came to the realization like you gotta really know your work. Like I was not work getting cheated on. And like come on now. I wouldn't work none of that, bro. So boom, that's when um we got into an argument, bro. We got into an argument, she stopped talking to me. The whole reason I don't wanna put her business out there, but like Bro, I don't even want, I don't even want part of business out there, bro. I don't know, but okay. So boom, the reason why we, the reason why she blocked me and the reason why we stopped talking, y'all, to this day, the reason why we are not talking to this day is because I went to the Scoobs, the Scoobs house. Y'all know I be with the Scoobs every weekend. The Scoobs is my friend group. It's like twenty plus of us. Like we all be lit for every weekend. We go to the club, we party, we make YouTube videos, TikToks, all that. You know, we just go up. So boom. I'm with the schools, and yeah, I'm going home. I'm, it's time to go home. It's Sunday. I'm, I'm going home, back to the crib. She called me, or well, she texted me. She said, bro, I was in, I'm in pain. She called me right after she texted that. I can't answer. So I hang up, and I said, I'm in the car. She said, all right, you don't got to worry about me. And she said, all right, bro, never mind. Then she texts, you don't got to worry about me no more. It's cool. I swear to God. Then I'm like, bro, what? You gonna, you gonna, you gonna stop like talking to me because I said I'm in the car. So boom, I'm texting her. I'm like, bye bye this, bye bye that. I send it, it don't go through. I'm like, I know the girl ain't just block me. I know the girl ain't just block me on my soul. So then that's when I went on Instagram and I posted a, a quote. Then she texts my phone. Uh, she replies to the story. She said, "Delete me. I show close friends." If this how you move and this and that, blah, blah, blah. Nigga, you already moving like that. The fuck? You already blocked me. You already set the damn, the, the damn point. Like, you already set the damn, come on now. You already set it. So, boom. I block her. I don't even respond to her. Because that was just slow as fuck. Why the fuck would you, why the fuck would you just say that? If, if I'm, this how I'm moving. When you literally was moving like that first. Like, what the fuck? So, I was like, bro, that's stupid ass shit. So, boom, I blocked her. Block me on everything. You want to block me on my message? It's cool because I'm blocking on everything, including Cash App. Blocked on Cash App. Blocked on. Blocked on I message. Blocked on TikTok. Blocked on Instagram. All that shit. Blocked her name out my comments. All that type of shit. So boom, that's when um, bro, she texts. Then I find out, bro. She called Jonah, my brother. She called Jonah. That's in Cali. He supposed to be coming out here on the thirtieth. Mind you, she was supposed to come down here on 32, but no, no, no. Uh, I'm not doing that shit. Hell no. So, boom. That's when, um, yeah, she called Jonah and she said, bro, I'm happy. I'm happy as fuck to block this nigga this time. Like, 
I'm happy as fuck to block this nigga first this time. Like, it feel good. I'm not worried about that nigga. No, my friends stand up and this and that, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh, for real? For sure. I'm like, for sure. For sure. That's all I need to hear. You feel good to block me? Like, what are you talking about? Like, you feel good? I don't even know. No hoe like that. Like, hell no. I don't need no girl that feel good blocking her nigga. Hell no. Like, I need a my man, my man. You not going nowhere type of girl. I'm like, fuck it. So, boom. I'm like, fuck it. I'm doing me. Then I found out the whole reason. She said she was in pain, bro. The whole reason she said she was in pain was she was drunk, right, y'all? This is the re real reason why she blocked me, y'all. She was drunk. She was drunk as fuck, right? In the car with three niggas and her best friend and Samara. So, basically, it sounded like they was on a damn two-man. Because you with your sister, your best friend, and you. And it's three other niggas in the car. And y'all drunk as fuck. Sound like y'all on a three-man. And you calling my phone. I should have thought of that. Like, why the fuck would I answer anyways? Like, what the fuck? So, but I found out that after the fact. So, boom. She drunk as fuck. She get on the car. I heard she got on the car. And her sister was driving the car. They all drunk. Mind you, I guess Samara stopped the car. Sanaya rode off the car. And... I guess Samara just kept driving and she ran her over. And she ran her over. Cause she posted on her story talking about some damn bruh, this shit hurt. Like what the fuck? Like she she was all on her story posting on her close friends talking about bruh, this shit hurt bad as fuck. Like they really just ran me over. I'm like, bruh, what? They ran you over. But at this point, I'm already blocked. So it's like, like, I would check up on you, but it's like you already blocked me. Like, what the fuck? Like, if you would have said, bro, I'm in pain. Samara just ran me over with a fucking car. I'm going to call you instantly. But you talking about, bro, I was in pain. I was in the car. Like, I don't, I'm thinking you on your damn cramp or something. Like, you got the cramps. Like, I'm not thinking you got ran over by a fucking car. What the fuck? So how the fuck you going to get mad at me because I didn't know? And you going to block me? So that's your fault. That's your fault. It is not my fault. That it is not my fault at all why we stopped talking. It is yours. You did not tell me anything. How was I supposed to be? I'm supposed to be a psychic and I'm supposed to just know you got ran over. Like, come on now. Even if it wasn't that bad and even if it was just a, a mark, a fat ass mark on your back or some shit. But like, bro, how the fuck am I supposed to know that? I know you're watching the video. Like, Sanaya, how the fuck am I supposed to know that? Like, come on now. Let's be for real. Let's be a honey. Like, come on. So, boom. That's when, um, yeah, bro. After that, we just stopped talking. I'm like, bro, it's just the same shit keep going on. Like, she not, she don't fuck with me for real. She fucking with these niggas. She friendly as hell on top of that. All these niggas follow her. Fucking, fucking. And then I'm friends with the niggas. Like, well, I'm not, I'm, I'm like friends with the niggas on TikTok. Like, all these niggas follow her, right? And she just gonna keep following these niggas back. She gonna follow every nigga back. She friendly as fuck. Like, she's just friendly as fuck. Like, I can't have no friendly girl. I can't have no girl who's just being every nigga face. I can't, when I'm not around, like, I, hell no, bro. If you got more nigga friends than me, bro, that shit is crazy, bro. Hella nigga friends. Hella nigga friends. I don't know. I can't even count. Then on top of that, one of the niggas, I just can't go, bro. Like, I just can't go. If y'all knew, bro, if y'all knew all the shit, like, bro. And then on top of that, it's a nigga. You got a nigga in your highlights that I already had a problem with. I'm like, bro, this nigga, I don't got a problem with the nigga for real, but it's like, bro, this is one of the niggas I came at you about talking about. You fuck with them. And you talking about, no, I don't fuck with them. I block all them, this and that, blah, blah, blah. How the fuck is the nigga in your my heart, my heart highlight, my hearts with all the people you fuck with? How the fuck is that nigga in your highlights? In that one, specifically. How the fuck is he in your highlights if you don't fuck with him? That shit don't make no sense. Like, you clearly ain't fuck with me, for real. Like, that's what it's giving. Like, I ain't I ain't even... That's why I don't be... Like, after she blocked me that last time, I'm like, bro, it's so much shit. Like, she even did. And she just can't, like, be a honey and just, like, stop doing weird shit, bro. Like, I'm like, bro, she don't give a fuck. I'm like... It's whatever, bro. It's more fish in the sea. Like, it, it really is, cuz. Like, you got to get out and explore. Like, it's really fish in the sea, cuz. Like, they everywhere. They everywhere. And then, 
And then it's like, bro, they be on my body, bro. Like, I'm not going to lie. They be on my body, but I'm loyal. Like, I'm a loyal ass nigga. Like, and when I'm getting in a relationship, like, I'm loyal. Like, I post, like, come on, man. Like, I'm a loyal ass nigga. They be on my body, bro. Like, they be all in my DMs. Like, every time I post a damn thirst TikTok, anything, bro. Like, they be on my DMs. Like, it's like, bro, I could have been had some bad shit. Been had some bad shit. Like, some, some different bad shit. But it's like, bro, I wanted that fish. And that fish just couldn't get it fucking right. She just couldn't get it fucking right. She couldn't stop her damn host stages. She couldn't stop being fucking friendly. Like, you follow every fucking famous nigga back on TikTok that follow you back. Talking about this nigga did this, this nigga did that. But you you talking about I don't, I don't follow the nigga on TikTok. But you still follow this same ass nigga on, on fucking Instagram. Mind you, the nigga slid her. Bro, one of the niggas slid in her DMs. What they said? They said, they said, you know what I do to your ass? Famous nigga. Oh God. He was like, you know what I do to your ass? Any, any, I'm not even mad at the nigga, cause like, if I don't know what the fuck going on and I'm trying to slide, I'ma say the same shit too on some on some real shit. Like, I ain't never, don't never get mad at the nigga for no type of shit like that. Like, hell no. Nah. But you, after he said that shit, you told me what he said to you. In your DMs. And you proceed to go follow the nigga. I don't know if it was the clout. I don't know if it's because it was famous. I don't know. But you fucking with me. He told you some shit like that. Talk about, I'll fuck your life up. I, you know what I do to you. And you proceed to go follow the nigga. You go follow the nigga. That's what we do. So, so if a girl slide in my DM talking about, you know what I, bro, I suck your, like, you know what I do to you? Like, Feet curled and you know what I do to you? And I go, I'm like, oh, for real? And I follow her back. I'm a weird ass nigga, right? But you gonna do it, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just weird shit. So, boom. Yeah, that's what happened, bro. It's just, motherfuckers is not real these days, man. I'm my soul. I feel like I'm the only real loyal nigga left. That's why all y'all be getting cheated on, because I'm the last one left. Like, in reality, like, I don't do shit. Like, I be loyal as fuck. Like, like, I'm so loyal that she even found out. Bro, she found out I was fucking with Jaya, because I was posting her. As soon as I started ta talking to Jaya, I'm posting her. I'm posting her. I was posting her. Posting her. As soon as I started talking to Jaya, I'm posting her. What? Like, I'm posting her. So... Doing TikTok with them and all, like, so motherfucker can't say I'm, motherfucker can't say I did nothing. I wasn't loyal, like, motherfucker can't say I did nothing. We wasn't even, like, she kept saying, she kept, she kept using an excuse to talk about we wasn't dating. Bro, I got you a damn promise ring. What is you talking about? You was calling me your husband. What the fuck is you talking about? Like. You had a whole damn album. What the fuck is you talking about? Like, they just be stupid shit, you know? Like, you you know when you talk to a motherfucker. Like, talking to talking. Like, when y'all first start talking to shit. But you know when you talk to a motherfucker so heavy that y'all finna, like, actually fucking date. And y'all actually being loyal to each other. Like, she just, I don't know. She a different breed, but, yeah. I ain't come on her to bash her, but don't go on her comments saying, oh, you this, you that. Don't even... Don't even do that, bro. Just leave it where it's at. I ain't just, what how y'all say? I ain't going back again. I leave it where it's left at, you know? Like, don't don't go back in her comments talking about this and that. Support her, support me. And yeah, straight like that. I'm bro, bro. Like, I don't know, man. Maybe we get cool back all the way in the future on some cool shit. But, hey, <laughs> look real bad right now, man. I ain't going to lie. Maybe one day we can have to sit down and talk like we fucking jazz and tape, but I don't, I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know about that. <clears throat> if, your, if, your, if your niggas is okay with it. If, if all your niggas is okay with it. But yeah, that's the end of this video, y'all. I ain't want to come out here and do too much, man. I just wanted to get that shit off my chest and say my piece. Because it's like, bro, only made this video because... Marin up said, like, fuck it, just do it. Just make the video, like, content is content, you know. Then on top of that, got the fans confused as fuck. These niggas still in my comments talking about some damn 
Oh my God, where's Naya? You still talk to Naya? When you going to see Naya? I can't wait till you and Naya see each other again. Oh, y'all look cute together. Y'all so cute together. I want to be just like y'all. Oh my God, like, bro, I'm tired of hearing that shit. I'm tired of hearing that fake ass shit when that shit not true. It's shit that happened behind the doors that y'all don't know about. Talking about we so cute. Y'all want to be just like us. Y'all do not want to be just like us. I'm the loyal one. I'm the one that never did nothing. I never did nothing sneaky or disloyal. Amen, amen. But please like the video. If you made it this far, like the video. It just helped bring the recommendations up so more people can hear about the story or whatever, man. Just like the video for me right now. If you made it this far, if you love your mom, like the video for me. Subscribe too if you knew because I'm finna stop posting on TikTok in a minute and I'm finna just be on YouTube like straight grinding, like pumping out videos every day with SGC. Me, Brooke, Mark, like, pranks, all that. Like, we fucking Jazz and Tay or fucking... Not Jazz and Tay. Like, we fucking Jazz, Amar, Loaded and all them. Like, I'm finna be pumping out videos on, bro. Or, like, we fucking... Who else be pumping out videos? Chris and Devo and them. They be pumping out videos, too. I fuck with them on, bro. But, yeah, man. I'm out, man. You know what the fuck going on? Big SGC, man. You know what the fuck going on? SGC up in the party. Better keep up with your homie, man. No cap, man. We are... Ah. Do not, Naya, I repeat, I repeat, oh shit, Naya, I repeat, because I know you was watching this video, I know it, Naya, do not make, no, the truth video, lie, or like, trying to go back and forth, like saying I did this and that, lie, because if you do that, then I'm going to just make another video, and I'm going to actually put the proof in there this time, and you know what I got, you know, you know everything I got. Like, you seen what I got in my phone. Like, you know everything I got. So, don't even do that, man. Don't even do it. Just be on some. Hey, just leave it here. Just, it ain't no bad blood. It's just a video, like, just so y'all can get off my dick and get off. Like, y'all can just stop all that shit in the comments y'all be doing. Because y'all be on some weird shit. For real. <laughs> Bye.